Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bronx, and welcome back to another episode of Batman Arkham Knight. So, Batman is the final Joker. And all the other Jokers are now dead. Albert King, Henry Adams, Christina Bell. And Johnny Charisma. All of them. They're all dead. It's just... Insanity. It's insanity. Oh, that's just something we can use as something. Okay. Hang on a gosh darn minute. If Henry wasn't immune to mad clown disease, then that means... There is no cure after all. You had Featherhead slaving away when he could have been saving Barbara. <laughs> it was cruel, selfish, and had horrible consequences. Oh, if you only meant it. Now come on. Let's go show Gotham what a real dynamic duo looks like. Oh my god. Oh my god. Batman's an improviser. Arkham Knight won't know what hit him. Okay, fine, whatever. Now how about Bane versus Mr. Freeze? Now you got a fight on your hands. Whoa, that's cool. Oh my god. Does this mean that they just charge faster? Alfred, the cloud burst. Give me an update. The Batwing is still conducting scans of the entire city, but there is no sign of it. Let me know the instant it's detected. Of course. There are two new situations developing that may require your attention. Firstly, I'm detecting unusual seismic activity on Miyagani Island. Also, I thought you should know I've been unable to contact Lucius for some time. Highly unusual behavior for Mr. Fox. A visit to Wayne Tower might be in order, just to make sure nothing untoward has happened. We're going to Wayne Tower. Lucius is out of contact. I don't like it. I'm going to investigate. Wayne Tower is locked down, sir. The only way in will be using the elevator in the underground parking garage. Awesome. Because I love using the elevator in the underground parking garage. 
God, did you see his eyes? They flash green. Mr. Wayne? I thought you managed to get out. It sounds terrible out there. What are we gonna do? Don't worry. This'll be over soon. See if we have any messages. Nope. Vicky, are you there? I know you're listening to these messages. Look, if it's about that article, blame Ryder. I had nothing to do with it, I swear. Call me, okay? I miss you, Brucey. What? Wayne, I just finished securing the building. Is something wrong? Anything I can help you with, sir? I didn't think you'd be coming back here tonight. Is there something I missed? Identity confirmed. Good evening, Mr. Fox. White! Oh, thank God that wasn't Batman. So I finally have your attention. Come join the party. If you try anything stupid, Wayne Enterprises will be looking for a new CEO. Alfred, I'm at Wayne Tower. We had an intruder earlier tonight. He's taken Lucius. My word. Any idea who it is? The identity thief. Thomas Elliot. The surgeon? Good Lord, I remember when the two of you were inseparable. In a way, we still are. He reconstructed his face using grafts from his victims. He looks identical to Bruce Wayne. Why on earth would he do such a thing? He says it's personal. I'm about to find out why. Don't do anything you might regret, sir. Hush. Thomas, Tommy Elliot, Surgeon, Serial Killer, Gotham City, Blue, Formerly brown, black, formerly reddish brown, six foot two, two ten, Batman six oh nine, January two thousand three. Thomas Elliot and Bruce Wayne were childhood friends, unknown to Bruce, dark reflections of each other. After a tragic accident claimed one of his parents that traumatized Tommy developed a pathological hatred for the Waynes. An incredibly gifted surgeon as an adult, Elliot has spent decades planning an elaborate revenge scheme to destroy Bruce Wayne. He's in peak physical conditioning, a world-class surgeon, a master of disguise, and determined to destroy Bruce Wayne. Let him go. We are just negotiating, aren't we, Mr. Fox? I have a job for you, Batman. Bring me Bruce Wayne, or I bring down this tower. Why Wayne? The two of you were friends. That brat's family destroyed me. And now, I will destroy him. The Wayne stood by you. Ah, oh, yes, the great surgeon Thomas Wayne. To think he was once my idol. Until he ruined everything. He did all he could to save your parents after the crash. I'm sorry you lost your father. 
but he saved your mother's life. He denied me what was rightfully mine. The car crash wasn't an accident. It was you. You wanted to kill them. I only want what I deserve. Bruce Wayne had his riches handed to him on a plate. He never had to fight for anything in his life. Now bring me Wayne, or I'll destroy this tower and everything he stands for. Take your best shot, Tommy. Oh my god. That's impossible. I should have. He's getting edgy. When he turns the gun on me, I'll have a split second to disarm him. Too early and he'll kill Lucius. Too late and he'll get a shot off. Kill him. I'll do it. You have my apologies. Rest assured, I'll be reviewing our security. It's all right, Lucius. Are you hurt? I'll be fine, Mr. Wayne. I guess that makes me the lucky one. It's not your fault, Lucius. I can't take him to GCPD. Have him locked in the vault here. Of course, sir. Leave it to me. Alfred, I've detained Elliot at Wayne Tower. I'll have him brought to trial when this is over. Oh, thank God. And what of Mr. Fox? He's fine. Oh, that is good news. We'll ensure Mr. Elliot sees justice for his crimes when this is over. Oh, snap. Double Jeopardy. Wow. Close call. Maybe that suit needs another upgrade. I guess now we know what happened to the identity thief you were tracking in Arkham City. Okay. 100% complete. They added more bombs? Time to take out the watchtower on the Memorial Hospital roof. It's a shame the facility isn't in action, sir. You'd be saving them a trip. Let's go for it, boys. There it is. The bat creature's still at large on Miyagani Island. I'm going to hunt it down and take a blood sample to determine who or what it is. analysis on the blood sample I just uploaded. Right you are, Master Bruce. I'm searching for possible matches now. How you managed to get this sample is beyond me, sir. Ah, here we are. The blood is heavily mutated, but we have a partial match, a Dr. Kirk Langstrom. Search for any properties in Gotham owned or leased by Dr. Langstrom. Certainly. Uh, let me see. Ah, he and his wife lease a basement laboratory in Chinatown. I'm sending you the address.
That tortured creature was once a man, Dr. Kirk Langstrom. There must be a cause for this transformation. His lab might hold the answer. Proceed with caution, sir. The creature could well be hiding in familiar surroundings. when you saw him. <laughs> Who would have thought the big bad Batman scared of his own reflection? Oh my god. Oh snap, is it on Founders Island? No, it's not. Okay, we gotta get over there. Quick out of the heat. That was close. Boom. We're gone. Target lost. Spread out. Go ahead and check for casualties. Can you hear me?
Okay, there goes another one. What? Dude, they're pulling him back up. Boom, you're out. Jeez, dude, it took me long enough. Well, now we got the last of these towers down on Bleak Island. Boom. That tortured creature was once a man, Dr. Kirk Langstrom. There it is. There must be a cause for this transformation. His lab might hold the answer. Proceed with caution, sir. The creature could well be hiding in familiar surroundings. Oh man, this is getting creepy. I thought that elevator ride was going to be much longer than that. trauma to the head. Langstrom had no idea what he was doing. So, uh, what we've done is merged the DNA of Desmodus Rotundus, uh, sorry, the, the vampire bat, into the human chain. This breakthrough could, it will, prevent and cure deafness in all humanity. How was that? Perfect, sweetie. Oh no, here it goes. Oh god. Kirk? Honey, are you okay? Oh my god. What am I supposed to do here? Full genetic resplicing was a success. Uh -huh. a computer. Maybe it contains some answers. This computer stores all of Dr. Langstrom's research. Mixing his 
DNA with a vampire bat? That was never going to end well. If I search through his files, I may be able to create an antidote to his condition. I need to isolate the man bat's signature and remove it from Langstrom's DNA. Oh, oh, okay, I can move both of them. God, this is getting annoying. Fifty percent now. Oh, my God, that was terrible. No. Mom, we're so close. That's yes. it. Yes. I've created a clean DNA sample. Now all I need to do is make him take his medicine. Alfred, I've synthesized a cure in Langstrom's lab. Now I just need to find him. Any idea where he may be hiding? He's not in control of his actions. He could be anywhere. No one knows this city better than you, Master Bruce. You'll find him. His wife? Your parents? <laughs> what is it about dead relatives that turns you into a giant rodent? Just locate him. <sighs> oh, we got another weapon cache. Mr. Elliot is secured in Wayne Tower, sir. He won't be causing any more harm. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of this episode. I hope you've all enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button down below, and if you want to see more content like this, you can always subscribe. As always, I've been Maddox, and I'll see you in the next one.